Hey everybody, Tim Clark, and in this video, we're gonna look at how you can animate virtually any logo. Like for the examples I'm doing, I downloaded it from like Google Images, and um, those are just flat JPEGs or flat PNG um, images. So this video is all about that, how you can just take a flat image and break it into its separate elements and then have them all, you know, come in and animate. This is very basic animation. It's just kind of showing you the first steps to take. And of course, you know, you can get crazy with it. You can add all kinds of effects and, um, and stuff like that. But this video is just all about, you know, the basic steps to take that will allow you to animate any logo. So without further ado, let's jump into it. We're going to be using uh, Adobe After effects in this and even if you've never used Adobe After Effects before this is uh, pretty basic stuff so um, you should be able to follow along here all you got to do is import your logo into After Effects and then you know bring it make a composition out of that and now you have the layer in your composition of the logo and basically you just want to think about first of all how you want to animate this so for example with the Google logo uh, it's probably pretty uh, straightforward of what you'd want to do basically what you want to do is you want to have access to each individual letter so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to duplicate the layer the same number of times as there are letters and then grab the pen tool and grab the top of the layer at the top of the layer stack and just draw an outline around the first letter then go to the second layer in the layer stack and draw an outline around the second letter and just continue with that process so you get through all the letters and then you're going to have access to each individual letter in its own layer and that'll allow you to animate each letter uh, individually which is what we want now the next thing you want to do is just pay attention to the anchor point. So each of these layers has its own anchor point and it's going to be in the center of the layer. But what you want to do is you want to uh, just hit the Y key on your keyboard to, ac to access the anchor point uh, selection tool. I just want to drag that anchor point to the center of the letter um, so that, you know, if you you know, change the rotation or the, or the scale of that letter, it's gonna all be kind of pivoting and revolving around the anchor point, which is now in the center of the letter, which is what we want. Okay, so now that you have it all set up, you can pretty, that's pretty much all the setup you need to do, pretty simple, and you can just go ahead and start animating. So pretty much, you just want to pay attention to, you know, the position, the scale, the rotation, and the opacity. Those are all kind of the basic uh, properties of, of image layers in After Effects. You can, you know, set a keyframe for the position property, set a, set a couple keyframes there, set a couple keyframes for the opacity, whatever you want to do, rotation, whatever it is, um, and just animate away. So that's really the key here, is just duplicating the layer into all those layers, and then for each layer, kind of dragging a mask around it um, for whatever element that you want to isolate and then you just have the ability to animate that part of the layer however you want. So for this Adidas logo, um, you know, I just drew a mask around each of the, you know, elements, the letters and then kind of the diagonal lines there. And for the Adidas one, you, I actually animated the masks. That's something else you can do as well. You can actually animate the masks. So again, that's just another example. You know, I tried Dunkin' Donuts for the first time uh, like a month ago or something. Same idea, just dragging, you know, mask around stuff to is isolate it and then animating it however you want. So it's pretty cool. As soon as you can take a logo and isolate different elements of it, and if you know, you know, just a tiny bit about animation in After Effects, uh, you can animate the logo. Some logos get pretty, uh, pretty complex with the illustration. Um, if there's a lot of visual elements to the logo and they're all kind of overlapping and intertwining, it's going to be a lot more time consuming and a lot more difficult um, to separate those individual elements of the layer. So in situations like that, that's where you really want to be able to have access to um, the original file that uh, created the logo so you want to be able to open up Illustrator and see the original access to the original file that made the logo so you actually have access to all the individual elements without even having to create masks of course after effects um, it's after effects there's all these different effects and things that you can do to logos I've created so many logo animations um, over the past few years and uh, not that I'm like a logo animation guy or anything, but just being in video production, you know, logo animation is a very uh, uh, cool thing to be able to do. It's a really good way of actually of really kind of delighting your customers. I mean, if you just kind of animate their logo and slap it on the end of the video, they're gonna be like, oh, you even animated my logo, that's super cool. So it's really kind of a, a cool thing to have in your toolkit. All right, thanks for watching this video, guys. I felt like I was talking really fast in this one. I was trying to keep it really quick. But uh, yeah, anyways, I think I'm gonna go, you know, put on my shoes, uh, grab a coffee, and Google some shit. So have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next video. S subscribe to the channel uh, if you want more After Effects tutorials, and uh, cheers.